hello capricorn welcome back i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit guys okay um so capricorn okay i'm glad i saw this card right so i, I was meditating over your energy so first of all um Somebody's name could be Lisa or Tom or Victor, Tessie. I don't know if somebody's name is like Tessie or they get called Tessie. Maybe that's like a nickname. I heard something about Tessiah as well. Tessiah, that's a cute name, <laughs> whoever that is. Um, you guys could be seeing 1010 10 and 444. Okay, somebody here could be moving out as well. You're moving out, moving on. Some of you guys could be moving far. But I just see you moving out, okay? Um, I'm hearing something about restoration as well. So you're restoring your, your energy. Okay, I feel like you are going to be feeling much more rejuvenated. After a cycle is over, you're getting a victory in something. Okay. Um, I'm hearing something about engaged too. You know, when I was meditating, I heard something about engaged. Somebody, some of you guys could be getting engaged. Or you're just engaging in something. Maybe it's a conversation or something here that you're really focused on. You're really engaged. And I also heard something about a Tesla. Like somebody here could drive a Tesla. I don't know what year. I mean, a lot of people could. So I don't know what a Tesla has anything to do with anything. <laughs> okay, I heard the word oblige. So some of you guys feel obligated to give someone something. Some of you guys could have to pay someone out. With this card, it says giving money. So I'm glad I've, I've been seeing that card when I was shuffling the deck off camera. I saw giving money and then I heard oblige. Well, I heard oblige first and then giving money kept popping up as I was shuffling. So it, it could be you're legally obligated to give someone something or you could be helping someone out. Okay, or you feel obligated to help someone out. And, and then I heard um, a relationship could be forming for you guys as well. All right, and then it's, I also heard it takes one to know one. <laughs> so I don't know what that means for y'all, but those are just messages that I got. Okay, so let's see what comes out, Capricorn. Let's see what this is about. What is going on for Capricorn spirit? What's going on for Capricorn, please and thank you. What is their situation? What's going on for Capricorn? What do they need to know? Okay, bottom of the deck is, yeah, legal issues, court judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. So there could be a court situation going on. Yeah, child neglect is here. Expecting new beginning. So let's just see what else for Capricorn spirit. What's going on for Capricorn? Messages here for Capricorn. So somebody here could be, I said Capricorn. <laughs> um, somebody here could be a Kappa. Um, but uh, you're somebody's either obligated to pay you out some money here or you're obligated to pay someone. It could be about some children. Yeah, it says bugaboo. It came out in reverse. So you could be you could be trying to get rid of somebody that's like bugging you or asking you for shit all the time. So maybe you're taking their ass to court. Yeah, wow. Incarcerated, locked up, about to be always in and out. Somebody here could either be going to jail or going to spiritual jail. Okay, what else for Capricorn? It says looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info, and then we have fake friends. I'm hearing something about setup. Ego, bottom of the deck, hurt ego, ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. So somebody's ego could be getting into the relationship. I mean, getting in the way of a relationship that's trying to form is what I'm picking up. I just feel like somebody has a lot going on. Fake friends is here, so. Hmm, you could be taking these friends to jail. I mean, <laughs> to court. 
for some of you, I'm hearing this has to do with your family. Your maybe it's your baby mama or baby daddy or something like that that you're taking a court. Yeah, you're waiting on something. Yeah, wow. King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So some of you guys are taking action here. I feel like you feel like you need to hide your money because or or store your money in a safe place. Maybe there's somebody that wants you for your finances or something like that. Well, what's going on for Capricorn? <laughs> yeah, you're getting a victory in something. Yeah, you're being set free from something. So let's see. What's going on for Capricorn Spirit? Okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles is strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Let's see what's going on for what's what's uh <laughs> legal issues spared for Capricorn. Legal issues, why is this here? Could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, yeah, the higher in reverse. Somebody definitely could have did something that went against the law. It could be dealing with the Taurus. Somebody did something that went against the law. But with the hyper in reverse, I also feel like, Capricorn, that you are stepping out um, and doing your own thing here. You're doing your own thing. And I feel like somebody doesn't like that. I feel like you want to be out of a contract. You want to be set free from something. Because you could be legally bound. Yeah, that's that's what I got with the, uh, oblige. I got the word oblige. You could be legally bounded to somebody or legally binded to someone here. And I feel like you want out and you're taking this person to court or you feel obligated to pay this person or do something i don't know you feel obligated to, to something that you're not i, I don't know but the high friend, it could be a divorce here that you're, you're getting out of a long-term commitment yeah you're you're way down or somebody is ten of wands but the high friend in reverse is also maybe you've been clinging on to old belief systems or old behaviors that's um a repeated negative pattern that needs to be changed and I feel like you are changing this now by stepping out of your comfort zone, I'm hearing, and doing something that you could have, it could have possibly made you a bit nervous to do, or I don't know, but I feel like you're doing it anyway, because <laughs> it's, it's something that just keeps repeating and you're tired of going through the same shit. So what else for legal issues with the hyphen in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Swords. So yeah, you're taking action here. You're taking action um, and you're leading with integrity. <clears throat> you're leading with integrity but somebody here did something that went against their own integrity if, if they even have any <laughs> they might not have any okay i feel like the takes one to no one here is you clashing with somebody somebody's like calling you names or saying certain shit to you and you're just like well it takes one to no one <laughs> like that's what i got with that yeah you're moving forward yeah it could be making you nervous but at least you're you're leading with the truth here you're going with what spirit is telling you here there's some clarity and a victory and success in something okay but there's you could be dealing with an air sign aquarius libra or gemini you could just be on the cusp of aquarius the cusp but the knight of swords is talking about um taking swift action this could be somebody coming towards you um capricorn could be an air sign <clears throat> So th th this is things that are changing. Knight of Swords is like big changes, okay? You're seizing an opportunity. Yeah, while it's being presented. Yeah, okay, Ace of Pentacles wanted to fall out. So some of you guys are getting some money. There's an offer coming towards you. Some of you guys could be changing jobs or switching careers here. You're doing something that's not... I feel like you're doing something that other people don't want you to do, and that's fine. Who gives a fuck? As long as it's making you happy and as long as Spirit is telling you that's what you need to do. Yeah, I feel like you're rebelling against something. Yeah, what's this um, Knight of Swords? Where are you going? Oh, who is this? What's this Knight of Swords? Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups. So this could be a love offer coming in. You could be doing something that's creative too that could be bringing you in this money. I feel like some of you guys could be could have had a creative block. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from something. And it's, it's, it's going to bring about victory and recognition and rewards from spirit, I feel like. But with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be... Some of y'all could be leaving one divorce. I mean, one relationship and going to the next is what I'm hearing too. Like, you were going to fuck with somebody. 
or you invested money into somebody, but that was the wrong investment. So now you're taking your pentacle to somebody else, somebody that you know is for you. And maybe you were being judged for this or people don't like you doing this, but you're doing it anyway. Like, but the Ace of Pentacles is a financial blessing coming in. It could be a new job. It could be a new place to live. It could be a car, but something that's solid, something that you can trust in. This could be somebody proposing to you. They want to marry you here and it goes against maybe their... I'm hearing something about family tradition, like somebody could be breaking a family tradition or doing something that's not really traditional or that doesn't look too, you know, And it, I feel like somebody just doesn't give a fuck anymore. But the Ace of Pentacles, this is definitely a financial blessing coming in, or it could, like I said, it could be a solid relationship coming in after these court issues or things get cleared up. Yeah. But somebody's rushing in with an offer. It could be two people, but I, just, I see this person as being one person. They're just rushing in pretty quickly. The Knight of Cups is like a romantic gesture. It could be an apology. What's the bu what's bugaboo for Capricorn? <clears throat> okay, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so somebody here could be bugging you about a child. Somebody could be trying to make you um, an offer, but you maybe you don't want it. You find this person to be a bugaboo or some of you guys are dealing with somebody from your past or somebody from your past could be coming back. Page of Pentacles, some of you guys could be studying, you're strategizing something, you're trying to plant seeds and start start fresh. This could be good news coming in about a job. So yeah, I feel like you guys are getting some type of money. And somebody's like bugging you or they need you for something. Some of y'all could be going back to school as well. What's bugaboo with Page of Principles? Some of you guys could also be tarot readers or you do something in divination. Yeah, Five of Cups. I feel like somebody is crying over spilled milk like they regret doing you a certain type of way. Yeah, Two of Cups, the Chariot. So moving forward into a relationship. Or a partnership of some sort. What else for Bugaboo? But somebody is disappointed or sad. What else? Yeah, Nine of Cups in Reverse. So I feel like for somebody, a wish is not going to be granted. Their ass, they, they need you for something or they want you for something. And maybe in the past, you feel like you were obligated to get to this person. Maybe because of a child. And I feel like for somebody, you do take care of your child. Somebody does take care of their child. But it's not in the way that the other person would want to. And, and I'm saying that to say, like, they just want the money part, the aspect of it. They don't care about you spending time with the child. They just, and they give you hell about spending time with the child or spending time with whatever is going on here. They don't care about that aspect of it. They just care about, they're greedy. Yeah, selfish. Nine of Cups in Reverse is somebody that's self-centered. Okay, it talks about being selfish or very into oneself. Like, they're, they don't give a fuck about how you feel about anything it's just about them and i feel like they're just sad because they lost out on an opportunity to get more money <laughs> this person gonna have addictions here what's this nine of cups in reverse okay yeah three of wands so you're waiting or somebody here is waiting yeah ten of swords yeah some of you guys are moving or leaving this person you're you're moving you're some of you guys are going long distance here. You're not even going to be local for some of you. But I feel like with the Nine of Cups is in reverse and the Three of Wands. You aren't happy here anyway. So I feel like you are moving on. You're leaving the past in the past and you're you're transforming. You're ready to seize new opportunities. You're ready to do something new with your life. You, you want this change. So you're making the change here. You're taking action. And you don't you have to do to get to break free from something or someone What's this page of pentacles about? Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, you're not you don't want this offer. <laughs> you're very discontent with what somebody is offering you. You're ignoring it, you're rejecting it. I feel like you're turning your back. Okay, you've thought about this. The hangman. I feel like you've got a lot of intuitive downloads. When I get the hangman, I see third eye and crown chakra being highly activated because spirit is giving you messages so that way you can shift your perspective here. I feel like you've been 
<clears throat> hung somewhere for a long time and i feel like yeah you've made a decisive decision with the judgment to listen to your intuition pisces energy scorpios here and you're just moving on because i feel like you're discontent or you're unhappy with something you just don't want to be bothered okay i feel like whatever is stagnant if, when you get this offer or i feel like something is coming in with the ace of pentacles when you get that now it's, you can move because i feel like you're waiting for something you're not happy where you are you're not happy dealing with the bugaboo so you're moving on or you're trying to anyway you're waiting for your ships to come in so you can move forward yeah will of fortune yeah things are changing something here is definitely shifting So let's see, what's incarcerated spirit for Capricorn? You could be dreaming about something or daydreaming about something a lot. I feel like you're manifesting. But manifesting also takes action. You can't just sit and daydream about stuff. You have to take action. Page of Pentacles is definitely um, not really moving. I feel like the pages are, um, this could be good news. Yes, communication could be coming in. Maybe from an earth sign or this is you with the page of pentacles. But um, sometimes they could talk about like being dreamy or just sitting and thinking about something and not really doing something about it. You could just be trying to put something in motion. Okay, like playing something out. But what's incarcerated for Capricorn? What's incarcerated spirit? Okay, the high priestess. Yeah, in reverse. Pisces energy again coming out. Uh, Somebody here could definitely be going to spiritual jail. Okay, I feel like somebody's... um. Spirit has blocked someone's intuition or they, they've blocked someone's psyche because they were taking advantage of you using it in the wrong ways or something like that. Okay, the, help, the high priestess in reverse could talk about, um, I'm hearing something going public or viral or somebody is getting attention that they don't want to get. Okay, maybe somebody here could be going to jail. And you know, you know, well, some of y'all, I don't know if y'all been in jail or not. I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> but um i've seen movies i guess or i've heard stories i have people that i know that's been incarcerated they always get attention that they don't want in jail <laughs> like it's just unwanted attention that that could be going on in, in jail or something is coming out where it's like that somebody's being talked about or whatever the fuck but the high priestess in reverse I feel like somebody's being stripped of their spiritual gifts here. So, you, I mean, I was going to say so you can move on. <laughs> um, some of y'all could not be listening to your intuition. Some of y'all need to, like, sit still so you can hear yourself because it, something here could land you in jail. Like I said in the beginning, somebody could be trying to set you up. It could be these fake friends trying to set you up with whatever you're doing. But your intuition is too blocked for you to see this or something. What is incarcerated with the high priestess in reverse? Yeah, eight of swords. Yeah, somebody could definitely be getting locked up. Yeah, seven of wands. Um, it could be spiritual or could, yeah. For some of you, it is a mental prison. Like somebody's going crazy. They're having outbursts here. What's incarcerated with the high priestess in reverse and the eight of swords? Or like I said, it could be spiritual. Somebody is mentally disturbed right now. Yeah, ace of swords. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is not getting a victory. Seven of, seven of swords in the will of fortune. Somebody is getting caught up on their own games. Whatever the fuck they're doing. Um... I feel like somebody's just trying to pick arguments with you. They're just causing a bunch of confusion and fights and shit like that. Ace of Swords in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. The uh, Eight of Swords. Somebody could just be like coming at you crazy. Ace of Swords in reverse is, is lies though. Something is not clear. Somebody's mental is just fucked up. What's the High Priestess in reverse right here? What is this? Yeah, five of wands. Ace of swords in reverse is definitely arguing, fighting. This is somebody that's not thinking too clear. Something's going on with this person's mental. Somebody's, yeah, five of swords. Somebody's a little bit mental. I feel like you're, you've are you made a decision. You made a clear decision to walk away. And it doesn't matter what this person tries to do to keep you stuck with their ass. I feel like you're in the middle of somebody's karma. If it's not you, flip the roles. But I'm just saying it's you because it's your reading. It takes a lot to say 
um or this is you or you know what i'm saying just flip the roles y'all know how tarot works okay but uh yeah some of y'all could be saying five 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 too yeah i don't know <laughs> somebody's just wanting to fight i guess what's this eight of swords Ten of Pentacles, yeah, Four of Swords. Hmm. Somebody could be going to jail about a lump sum of money. This could be somebody in your family going to jail here or they're in, they're in a mental prison. Maybe somebody that you were married to or you have kids with as well. Okay. Somebody could have did something with a um, big investment, like a, a lot of money or something like that. This is what they're going to jail for. They're forced to sit here and think about their actions or forced to sit here and think about what they could have had with your ass if they would have invested the right way or did this the right way and they weren't malicious. Some of you guys are overthinking, right? You're trying to figure out how to get this Ten of Pentacles, this family, this uh, marriage with someone here. Maybe you're thinking about how to rebuild. You could be having dreams about something. But I was getting, maybe you see somebody as a Ten of Pentacles, but you're stuck in your head. You don't know how to get to this person because maybe there's somebody around you that's arguing with you or picking, picking fights with you. And I just feel like you're trying to go to where the bag is. You want this money or you want this commitment with somebody or it could be both. But the four of swords is you resting. Yeah, you're going to be, once this person gets locked up, that's what this is to me. Once this person gets locked up or, or once they get dealt with or whatever the fuck, I feel like now you're going to be able to rest and you're going to come into the Ten of Pentacles energy. Maybe right now you're not seeing something. This could be you or them. What's this Ace of Swords in reverse? Because they're not going to be victorious or somebody isn't. What's it? Yeah, so it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius feminine what's the ace of swords in reverse with the queen of wands yeah the hermit in reverse i feel like this person is picking fights with you they're picking arguments this could be somebody that you're this could be another lover or it could be just your baby mama baby dad i feel like you don't want they ass they're just fighting with you over a child or they feel like they want your money or something like that I feel like a, a, a particular partnership is being blocked right now for your highest good. You're being protected because there's somebody in someone's um, uh, there's someone around someone that is like doing the most. You're being guided to choose a connection here. You're manifesting something. This could have been a hard decision. I feel like it was a hard decision because of the simple fact that somebody is like they're tripping. The Hermit in reverse with the Queen of Wands and the damn Ace of Swords to me is giving. This person is paranoid about something. They're fearful about something. Could be a Virgo. It's either it's something that you're not seeing about this person. They're blocking your damn intuition or this is their ass going crazy. You got to flip the roles. Yeah, with the Hermit in Reverse, it talks about isolation too. Because it could alternatively mean that you're ready to kind of like um, withdraw your energy from something. Which you are. That's that. Yeah. But I feel like somebody's being held captive. They're being restricted. This is this person going to jail, literally. Or they're in spiritual jail here. What is uh, the, uh, the Queen of Wands? What is this Queen of Wands? Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something is being discovered or something is coming out. Yeah, about this person. This this person is a little bit mental with these swords here. They are. Something's wrong with them. But, um, yeah, this person is being isolated with the, uh, the Hermit in reverse. They're, they're being held down, which I feel like is jail. The Hermit in Reverse is literally isolation. So, yeah. 
Okay, what's this Ten of Pentacles right here? Let me see. Okay, yeah, Two of Pentacles. So yeah, if you're juggling finances right now, if your money is looking funny, it's going to build up. Yeah. You're going to go into partnership with someone maybe. Where somebody here is going to inspire you to do something creative, to do something that you're passionate about. And you guys are going to work together as a team to do this. But I feel like um, if you're juggling a lot right now, if you are having problems with your finances, I feel like something is coming in. After you get this person out of your energy, because I feel like they're fighting you about money or a child or something like that. This person is too needy. They're clingy. They can have addictions. Something is just wrong with this person. I don't know, but... Something is going to come back into balance, though. Two of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's going to come back in balance. So what is looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info for Capricorn? Yeah, the judgment. So somebody could have made a final decision about you, Capricorn, or this is you. There's some type of karmic lesson that you are learning that spirit is teaching you. I feel like you made the right decision, whatever decision this is. Okay. I'm hearing somebody could be looking you up to try to find you, get your phone number or whatever. Somebody could be looking you up online. If this is about a job or something like that, make sure you watch what you post online, I guess. So somebody could be looking you up like a manager or something for a high position here you could yeah that's what i'm picking up too you could be going through there could be something going on with your finances at work like you're 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 at a new job maybe or you're at this job where where your manager or somebody is trying to um promote you so the judgment is talks about this person watching you they're watching your every move at work so make sure you don't do anything crazy because they're judging you in secret they're watching you that could be a thing too I'm hearing something about background checks or something like that. I feel like there's an announcement or something coming out. Okay. But the judgment um, talks about decisiveness, learning a lesson here. This could be somebody from your past too. The judgment, this could be somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness. This person is looking you up to see what's going on with you. To, I guess to kind of like gauge the temperature of your attitude. <laughs> Or something but let's see what's going on with looking you up with the judgment yeah this person wants to work with you what else for looking you up with judgment okay yeah the devil in reverse yeah so removing toxicity gaining control of your life again taking back your power yeah could be an aquarius or leo or scorpio or aries virgo is here taurus pisces Capricorn, that's you. So this could be you getting rid of toxicity. You're removing something out of your life. You're letting something go with the devil in reverse. And you're gaining back control of your life here. You're dropping the ego or whatever this is that's been holding you back. I feel like this is what you're working through. What else for lifting you up with the judgment and the devil in reverse? Okay, eight of wands in reverse. So yeah, I feel like something, you have unfinished business somewhere is what I just heard. But the Eight of Wands in reverse, I also feel like um, spirit is guiding you away from a lot of this negativity. There could be delays in a relationship or delays in something. And it's because you're clearing this out. I mean, you can't move forward until you clear this all the way out, I feel like. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wands is like slow progress, but something here is, is going to be successful. What's this Eight of Wands in reverse? For Capricorn, what's this Eight of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit? The Tower. Yeah, and then we have the Two of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, there's a lot of chaos or tower moments happening here, but it's for your highest good. So, this is why there's delays. I feel like something needed to be destroyed first. So it could be ego. It could be whatever this drama is, this conflict, this fighting, or whatever this is. This had to be cleared out. But I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like you do have unfinished business with somebody. Okay, and I feel like, or, or something here that you haven't finished. It could be somebody or something. I don't know. What's this Eight of Wands in reverse with the tower? One more. I feel like it's going to come as a tower moment. Yeah, because something is like um, taking a while to come in. So you're not going to be expecting it. Or when it comes in, you're going to be like, wow, I didn't think this was going to happen. You know, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like um, 
Yeah, you just cut somebody out. Okay, you could be going towards a, a air sign or air sign is coming towards you. This is somebody that um wants to be truthful with you. They want to be honest. Or this is you. You set boundaries with this person. You told them like if they don't clear the shit out, don't come back. <laughs> Just period. But I feel like you cutting somebody out is causing somebody to grow up too. It's helping somebody to change their ways and grow up because you're not playing with them. Okay. I also feel like, yeah, you just stop communicating with somebody. This could be the Queen of Swords, could be you getting a divorce. You could be going through a divorce or you're getting rid of this person. I'm hearing something about a fire. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe you guys need to sit by some fire. Your um, solar plexus could be blocked here for somebody. Okay, that talks about being confident and being in control. So yeah, I feel like somebody's balancing out their solar plexus. Okay, because, you know. Hmm. What else for, what's going on with fake friends for Capricorn? Oh, shoot. Okay, the chariot and the knight of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like something has been stagnant for a while. There's been slow progress with your money, your finances, but I feel like that's that's um going to be worked out here. I feel like you're pushing through these obstacles. Whatever these people try to put in your way, I feel like you're moving through it. You are. With the knight of pentacles, your hard work is definitely paying off. And you're definitely moving forward with a vengeance. Like you're 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 doing what you have to do. I feel like you're not a revengeful person. You're not a revengeful person, but you're you're just moving on. And so that is revenge. <laughs> That's the sweetest revenge. You moving on. Just period. Yeah, the page of wands, ace of cups, four of pentacles, the empress flipped over. So yeah, you could be going towards a love here. Maybe a divine feminine or you are the divine feminine. Some of y'all could be getting news about a pregnancy. Okay, that could be happening in your near future with the Two of Wands. And yeah. There's communication coming. What's, what else for fake friends? With the chariot and the, okay, yeah, the magician. So, in reverse, Virgo, Gemini, energy. So, um, definitely some manipulation. Definitely somebody trying to trick you or these people are trying to set you up, like I said. Okay, they could be trying, they're in trickster energy. They're trying to manipulate you here and stop you from seeing something. What's this magician in reverse? Okay, King of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody just doesn't want you to get something. They don't want you to go towards someone or something. They don't want you to do this here. King of Cups. I feel like you have feelings for somebody. Or you're very loyal, you're dedicated to someone here. And these people don't want you to go towards it. And you're going anyway. <laughs> so I feel like they ask to be getting locked up to regardless. So let's get some advice, Capricorn. Um, yeah. Advice for Capricorn spirit, please. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is positive recognition number 19 i think this is the sun or whatever it says congratulations your plans have worked out perfectly and now is your time to shine brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all is all but assured express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy be open to unexpected opportunities so yeah, I feel like you're going into your happiness here. Number 10, 19 is 10. So like I said, you guys could be seeing 10, 10 and shit like that. What else for Capricorn? So I feel like you have, you're closing out a cycle here. Then it says helper of action. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. You are someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile. 
Okay, so this could be a person here. Somebody, I feel like somebody's coming in to help you. This could be the Knight of Swords, helper of action. Or or this could be the Knight of Wands here. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is a new beginning. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So definitely, yeah, win-win solution. Number 14, this is the temperance. And that reduces to a five. So I feel like whatever conflict you have going on, um, Capricorn, is going to be resolved here. You're moving to calmer waters, okay, with patience. As long as you have patience and you, you're, you know... Um, you're just doing the right thing here, just period. So you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track. I feel like something needed patience or something was in divine timing. Something had to happen within divine timing. Okay, trap, stuck, locked down, mental prison, captive. Yeah, I feel like that's very fitting for this reading. It popped out for whatever reason. I don't know. What else for Capricorn spirit? Let's get a few more, just a few. only you yeah focus on just you observing you watching you there's no one like you so yeah a relationship is coming in somebody's just going through some bullshit right now so it's taking patience but i do feel like you're very enamored with somebody you really love somebody or or they love your ass clown degrading appearances shame humiliation yeah i feel like somebody is 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 some somebody's secrets is coming out and they look like a fucking clown that's what this is what else children yeah immaturity innocence childhood so something could definitely be going on with some children um some of you guys could be could have been needing to get rid of some abandonment wounds i'm hearing abandonment or some um childhood some inner childhood wounds here that need to be healed before you can move on to this relationship so spirit put a block there i feel like children are affecting this relationship in a way some your person has children or you do but definitely somebody's acting childish Okay, it says gamble, taking a risk, poker face, not showing feelings, rolling the dice. So somebody's taking a risk with you. This person has a problem with being vulnerable. I feel like they can come off as a trickster. They can come off a bit like they're trying to manipulate you in a way. I just feel like they have a problem with expressing their emotions. And then it says moving. Yeah, box up, environment change, empty shell. Okay, bottom of the deck is forbidden. Love affairs, temptations, flirting, giving into pleasure. So... You could be forbidden to this person. <laughs> like, you're very tempting. But somebody could have had a love affair. I don't goddamn know. That could be what this divorce is about. If it's a divorce. What else for Capricorn Spirit? Let's get angel answers. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have compromise. Yeah, so Spirit is telling you to, to balance things out with somebody, work things out with somebody. Okay, or, or I'm hearing something about, yeah, a fair agreement or something like that. I feel like something is being balanced. I feel like somebody's being forced to compromise with you. Whoever this is, you're taking a court or whatever. They ain't going to have no choice. Because <laughs> what else? Get more information. Okay, so you need more information here. What else? Ask for help from others. So bottom of the deck is in the near future. So something could be happening in the near future. All right. But Spirit is telling you to ask for help. Or whoever this is. Maybe somebody could be asking you for your help, Capricorn. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is yeah relationship paradigms what speaks to your soul in close relationships yeah so somebody is coming after you <clears throat> they're definitely coming after you i just feel like they're going through some bullshit protection the need for energetic emotional or physical boundaries is necessary for you at this time so if you guys have um gotten rid of this person that's coming back towards you i feel like they're genuine 
but if you guys have like cut this person off make sure you set boundaries with this person to protect yourself now because i feel like maybe you two were too giving or whatever the fuck and okay spirit is telling you to put yourself first let this person go through whatever the fuck they're going through before you guys can reunite or get back together like fully i feel like that's not going to happen anyway because spirit is not going to allow it until somebody clears this out liberation it says break the change of chains of addiction rest, restriction or other impend impediments i mean impediments it begins with freedom of choice okay one more transformation you are shedding layers of your life some relationships are external and external factors that no longer serve your highest purpose must fade away so yeah it, yeah this is something that's closing out so you can feel liberated here i feel like you're being protected this relationship is too so this was your reading capricorn <laughs> i hope it resonated like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on to all so you guys can get um, my notifications for when i post and i will talk to you guys later bye <clears throat>